Hi everyone, welcome back to Sabir CAD. This is the third video on features of Bricks CAD which is not available in AutoCAD. And these videos deals with certain exclusive features of Bricks CAD which will make you more productive. So let's dive into the video. In AutoCAD, I have opened the room layout of an office. In this drawing, I have a number of chairs inserted at random locations. Now, I want to move all these chairs in such a way that these chairs will get aligned with this wall equally spaced. In AutoCAD, you have to give several move commands or align commands to bring these chairs onto this wall. I have opened the same file in Bricks CAD. Here, I'll give Arrange command. Arrange command in Bricks CAD will let you spatially organize a set of entities along a specified axis of the current UCS. Now I am asked to select the entities to arrange. I have selected these chairs. Then I will give enter. Next I will specify a direction. I would like to arrange in this direction which is the Y axis direction. So I will click on Y. I want to align the top edges. So I will click on upper align. Next I want to keep these entities equally spaced in the X direction. So I will click on X. Then I will click on equally spaced. And I will give an enter. Hence, you have quickly and easily accomplished this task using a single command. The same command can also be applied in 3D. This is a 3D model of an interior space. I have inserted ceiling mounted lamps at different locations at random. And I want to move all these blocks to the height of the ceiling. For that, I will give arrange command. And I will select all these blocks give enter. Next I will choose Z axis. Then I will click on upper align. Now three lamps are moved in the Z axis direction to the height of the lamp which was touching the ceiling. Hence arrange command will let you save a lot of time and effort. Please feel free to explore this command in detail. The link is provided at the description section of this video. In AutoCAD, the view cube which is located at the upper right corner of the screen can be used to change the views. You can generate isometric orthogonal perspective views using the view cube. If I click here, you have got an isometric based on that hotspot of the view cube. When I click here, the view changes to a different isometric. When I click on the front face, it is an orthogonal views based on the front face. By clicking at the home icon, I can switch over to the default view. You can switch over from perspective projection to parallel and back to perspective by right clicking on the view cube and click on the corresponding options. And when you take a view based on a face, for example, when I click on the friend face, I will get two roll arrows here. And when I click on these arrows, I will get roll views. Each click will let you rotate the view by 90 degrees. Now I'll change the view to top view. I've got the roll arrows. Click on those roll arrows to rotate the view by 90 degree increments. You can change the visual style by clicking on the visual styles control at the upper left corner. Here you have got a menu with 10 visual styles displayed ranging from 2D wireframe to X-ray. If I click on X-ray, I'll get a transparent representation of the 3D model. Let's do the same task using BricsCAD. In BricsCAD, we have Look From Widget using which you can change views. When you hover over the Look From Widget, you will see the icons changing and you will also see tooltips. If I click now, I'll get a top front right view. If I click here, I'll get a top view. Likewise, you can change views. Now I'll switch over to the top front left view. When you right click on the look from widget, you will get a context sensitive menu with a number of options. The UCS option will let you change the UCS to the world coordinate setup or you can define a new UCS using the new option. Now you can see the various options of the UCS command. I'll right click again and in the visual styles, you will see visual styles from 2D wireframe to X-ray. We have altogether 12 visual styles shown. Then using the view option, you can restore any saved views. When I click on the view 1, the view 1 will be restored. When I click on the view 2, that particular view will be restored. 
When you restore a view, the visual styles in which the view is saved is also restored. When you click on view 3, that particular view is also restored. Presently, you are in the isometric mode. You can switch from isometric mode to perspective mode by activating the corresponding options. I'll disable the perspective mode. Now you are back to isometric view. Now I'll activate the perspective to go back to perspective. When you click on the twist mode, you will see an option to twist your view. When you hover on this icon, you will see the various angles. You can go for 90 degree twist or 180 or any custom angle of your choice. Let's try the twist option in a 2D drawing. Click on the 90 degree twist, then 180 degree twist. And if you want to go back to the previous view, you can click at the center of this icon. Hence, you can rotate the drawing without using rotate command. Now I'll turn off the twist mode by right clicking on the look from widget and I'll click on the isometric mode. The location of the look from widget can be taken to top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Suppose if you want to take this widget to the top left, just click on the top left. The look from widget can be turned off using the dismiss option. Whereas in AutoCAD, you have to give the cube command and click on the off option to turn off the view cube. When you hold down the control key and hover on the look from widget, you can get bottom views. Now if I click here, you will get down front right. And when you click here, you will get down back right. So likewise, you can get view from the bottom by holding down the control key. Now I'll release the control key and click to get the top front left view. Hence, look from widget gives more flexibility and options. With AutoCAD Design Center, you can find drawing content such as layers, blocks, textiles, etc. in one interface. You can also copy these items between drawings. BricsCAD's alternative is Drawing Explorer, which is a powerful tool and will let you perform many more actions than Design Center. On the left side, you can see more category of items than Design Center and each category can be visualized, edited and copied between drawings. If I click on layers, all the layers are shown and when I click on a particular layer, the various entities in that layer will be displayed. And if I click on blocks, you will see the list of all the blocks in the drawing. And when you click on a particular block, you can see the preview of that block. You can launch the Drawing Explorer either by inputting the Explorer command in the command line or you can click on the Explorer icon in the toolbar on top. You can also open Explorer to a certain category by using specific commands such as Explorer blocks. Now you can see the Explorer opened with the block category automatically selected. Let's work with layers in Explorer. When I click on layers, you will see the list of all the layers and you can change properties of the layers right here. I'll click on the color and I'll change the color to a different color and I can change the line type if required. I can also freeze and lock layers. At the same time, I can see the preview of the entities in the layer in the preview window. But in AutoCAD, if you want to do the same thing, you have to make use of more than one dialog boxes. To change the properties of layers, I have to go to Layer Properties Manager, wherein I can change the color and the related properties. But to preview the various entities in the layer, we should make use of the Layer Walk interface. I'll click on the door layer to see the entities in that layer. Hence, to accomplish this task in AutoCAD, we have to make use of more than one interfaces. In BricsCAD Drawing Explorer, you can switch over from layer to any category as per your requirement. For example, if I click on textiles, all the created textiles will be shown and I'll create a new style. I'll click on the new icon and I'll call this style as my style. I'll give a different font for this. Now I would like to copy this style to a new drawing. So I'll right click on my style and click on copy. 
then I'll open a new drawing right click click on drawing explorer in the quad menu then I'll click on textiles and paste you have pasted the newly created style likewise you can copy paste layers blocks or any category of items for example I'll click on blocks and I'll choose this particular block right click and copy activate this drawing drawing explorer then click on blocks and paste you can see that block here likewise you can copy paste any category of items from one open drawing to another seamlessly very fast with drawing explorer you can quickly bring resources from one drawing to another for that you have to click on the folders tab and then you can add any desired folder I have already added a local folder and when I expand that folder I can see the drawings in that folder I'll click on this particular drawing house plan in the preview window you can see the preview of that drawing you can see all the resources in the drawing I'll click on blocks there are 36 blocks I'll double click to open when I click on a particular block I can see the preview of that block I'll click on the flower block I'll right click copy then I'll click on open drawings and I'll click on blocks and paste now we have brought that block into this open drawing copying features is even more easier between open drawings I already have another drawing with the name drawing one that is opened now I'll copy paste the flower block onto the drawing one drawing for that I'll just right click copy click on the plus sign to open the features in the drawing one then I'll click on blocks and paste likewise you can copy paste any features between drawings in a faster and easier manner using drawing explorer you can also easily insert a block from the drawing explorer I'll click on blocks in this open drawing then I'll right click and insert and I can insert it at any desired location if you're working with tools palette you can also add this block to the tools palette I'll right click on the flower block and click on add to current tool palette now I'll open the tool palettes panel and you can see that that block is added to the tools palette hence drawing explorer has got much more functions than design center and it will let you perform variety of activities this completes the third part video on features of BricsCAD not available in AutoCAD thank you so much for your time start your free 30-day trial of BricsCAD at Brixis.com and experience these features please find the download link at the description section of this video